Hey, so in this video, I show you how to make beef in aspic. Pretty simple recipe. First of all, we need to cure a piece of beef like two days in advance. I use brisket for it. What you do is you weigh the meat, then you weigh the salt, sugar and cure, and then you put everything over it. Make sure everything sticks nicely then put it in a bag again make sure everything is in there because we weighed it out then vacuum it and then put it in the fridge for two days if it's a thicker piece of meat then three four days then for the cooking liquid i have water onion salt and pepper and here i have bay leaf cloves and some allspice that's it for this part and then later for the final mixture i have aspic powder vinegar and some pickled cucumbers and that's it i would say let's start with the process first of all cut the onion in quarters then add the water to a pot add the spices Add the salt and pepper, the onions, and mix everything well. Then add your cured meat. Make sure that everything is covered with water. Put the lid on it and now let it simmer for roughly one and a half, two hours until it's soft. In the meantime, you can cut the cucumbers into fine strips. You could also make cubes, it depends a bit on how you want it to look in the final sausage. And then, as you can see here, this is how the meat should look like. Super easy to shred. And now you have two options. First of all, you could put it through a grinder, then you have like coarser pieces. Or second option, what I will do now is to shred the meat with a fork and make sure you have all these little fine strips. Then put it in a bowl, make sure it's big enough because we will mix everything together there. Add the cucumbers, again, mix them so it's evenly incorporated. Now you can drain the cooking liquid through a sieve with a kitchen towel this way the broth will be as clean as it can get then weigh out the broth which you want to have in your final sausage i recommend roughly 25 percent of liquid but you can also do more or less add the vinegar and then add the aspic powder mix everything well if it's not incorporating or like diluting evenly, then you can warm it up a bit again. However, do not cook it. Just make sure it's warm and then it should dissolve easily. Then give it a taste. And if anything is missing, salt or vinegar, you can add it now and make sure that it is perfectly to your taste. Then add it to the meat and cucumbers. Again, mix everything well. And then it's time to fill it. I'm using artificial casings here. Then I twist them off and tie it with a butcher's twine. And the other version would be to fill it into jars. Also works as you can see here. I'm using more liquid for this one to show you the difference. And then let it rest in your fridge for 24 hours and then it becomes firm as you can see here on the left side we have less liquid so we have more meat and cucumber it's a bit more dense and then on the right side you can see i added more liquid it's completely up to you both versions taste great so yeah that's the difference on how much liquid you add and then for the taste test you have these nice tangy vinegar together with the beef the spices come out nicely it has a funny texture however i can totally recommend to try it out 
Like always, the full recipe is below. If you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.